wondering how you know that piece I just played. Well, hold still, because I'm about to tell you. In 1936, a German composer by the name of Karl Orff completed his cantata based on the poems in a collection called the Carmina Burana. The poems were notoriously written by drunk monks and liturgical students between the 11th and 12th centuries. The languages of these poems ranged from medieval Latin to Middle High German and to Provençal, which was early French. And there are even some poems written in macaronic, which is a bizarre mixture of Latin, German, and French. The types of poems include raucous drinking songs, sex-filled crazy romances, and some ironic pieces of morality. But back to the musical piece itself. Even though it went completely against Nazi ethics, it was actually embraced by the regime, probably due to the epicness of the work, and actually became the most famous piece to be composed during the Third Reich. Even more amazing, it managed to survive the downfall of Nazi Germany and still maintain its popularity, and to this day, it's a staple of the classic repertoire. Oh, hello, ambulance. But that wouldn't explain why you, my good dear friends, know this piece. And that would be because Carmina Burana is probably the most often used classical work in popular culture today, especially the first movement, O Fortuna. And if you haven't recognized it by its title, I'm just going to play that opening again so that you hear it. Yeah, you know it. O Fortuna's popular life started in the 1970s when it was used in the background of Old Spice commercials. From there, its career took off. It was used throughout the 1980s and 1990s in movies, TV shows, and more commercials, of course. Some classic films that it appeared in are Excalibur. It was played when King Arthur and the Knights of the Round Table were riding into battle. So cool. And later, it was used in The Last of the Mohicans, also a classic film. But if you're not a fan of classic films, then... It was used probably in something you do like. If you enjoy wrestling, this piece was actually performed at WrestleMania 14 and 1998, I believe, when The Undertaker walked out to scare people. Woo! And if you like crazy, weird, stupid movies, it was played in Jackass the Movie in 2002. If you're more of the family movie type person, it was played in Cheaper by the Dozen in 2003. If you like sci-fi and actually paid enough attention to the third Matrix movie, you would have found it there. But don't worry if you didn't because no one really likes the third Matrix movie. And of course, if you like TV shows in which 30-something-year-olds play high school people that sing their feelings to each other, then you'll recognize the piece as the dramatic music that plays when Will Schuster and Sue Sylvester have their standoffs. And if you don't like watching media but enjoy listening to media, and happen to like talk radio and the Howard Stern show, then you might recognize this is the piece that plays every time producer Gary walks into the studio. But of course, the first media that O Fortuna appeared in were commercials. So if you want to hear some of the classic commercials it appeared in, there were many, many, many Gatorade commercials. There were York Peppermint Patty commercials. There was a Carlton Drought commercial that was epic. And there was also a National Guard commercial recently too. I'm gonna link all of those down below. I find it absolutely hilarious that these TV shows, commercials, movies, and radio shows use this song to represent what they're trying to portray. The text of O Fortuna is actually really dark. And it's all about how fate just constantly throws things at you to mess up your life. 
And there's nothing about overcoming it. It's just about like, oh, fate sucks, so let's wallow in our misery. Carl Orff's music is singularly epic though, so that is why the piece is commonly used. One thing I haven't been able to find, surprisingly, is a Doritos commercial that uses O Fortuna. Almost all of their commercials use hilariously, ironically chosen classical music pieces to accompany the drama of their situation. Perhaps I should just do an entire video on Doritos commercials. I would find that entertaining. Yes? No? Let me know. As usual, if you enjoyed this video, please give me a like and subscribe below. If you would like me to expose another classical music piece in popular culture, please let me know either on the Facebook page, the Twitter, or below here in the comments. Until next week, guys, don't let fate keep you down. Music